What I have in my hand here is a sample of HTS tape. This is the raw material that we use to wind our high field superconducting magnets with. And what this tape consists of is mostly a set of metallic layers, largely a substrate material known as hastaloy. It's a nickel chrome alloy that you can think of as being similar to stainless steel. And on top of that is a series of ceramic layers, most important of which is the superconducting layer, the material called rare earth barium copper oxide or REBCO. And this is in a layer that's about one micron thick. So it's about a hundredth of the thickness of a human hair and about 12 millimeters wide. Um, and this is applied in what is effectively a single crystal deposition process that goes on over about a kilometer length. It's an absolute marvel of material science that I'm able to stand here with a piece of this material that was cut off a reel of a few hundred meters length. Um, so once we have that ceramic layer, there's a few metallic layers that go around the outside. We have some silver that makes the best metallic interface to that superconductor. And then we have copper, which is a material that allows the current to bypass any regions of the superconductor that might be a bit defective. And it gives us that robustness, that ability to solder to the, uh, the tapes and join them together into really robust magnet structures. Uh, and so what we have is a robust material that we can use to wind coils 